good morning, and I'm so happy again today to be able to spend a few minutes with you and talk about something that I believe that we're all very well aware of. How can we help but be aware of the great love of God? God loves us so much, doesn't he? I appreciate the love of God today, and I think about a verse of scripture I ran across. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the children of God. And when I think about the kind of love that God has bestowed upon us, well, it thrills my heart. One poet said that God should love a sinner such as I, and that's kind of how we feel today. But I think about, you know, we're coming up onto what we know as the Easter season, and of course, before there can be a celebration of resurrection, there had to be a crucifixion, and uh, we know that the crucifixion is something that really strongly reveals the love of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe on him should never perish but have everlasting life. So what kind of love is this that God has shown toward us? It's a love that is indescribable. Many have tried to describe the love of God, but tell you, there's not enough adjectives to describe God's love. Uh, it's just hard to describe how much God really loves us. And I think I made a statement here some time ago, maybe in one of my preaching uh, sermons, that a uh, statement I'd read somewhere, I don't know exactly who to attribute that to, but the statement was that there's nothing we can do to make God love us any less than what he already loves us, and there's nothing we can do to make him love us any more than what he loves us. He loves us just as we are. And when I think about this love, it's a love that gives. Now, we know what it is to give to those that we love. Boy meets girl, and he wants to show his love, and it's generally by giving. It may be a box of candy with the old adage, sweets for the sweets, or it may be a bouquet of flowers or a single rose, but we want to show our love in some way by giving. And then I think, you know, that uh, we parents, we love our children, and what delight we take in giving to our children. I tell you, nothing pleases me any greater than to know that I've been able to bless my children with something that they really need, something that uh, is, is a blessing to them. And I know that I do enjoy giving to my children. I, I don't have a thing in the world that they're not welcome to because I love them and giving is one way of showing our love. I know that uh, we oftentimes think about, you know, grandparents, when the grandkids start coming along, we grandparents go plumb crazy trying to buy stuff for those grandkids. We love them so much, and we want them to know that Grandma and Grandpa love them. So one way that we think we can do it is to shower them with gifts. And I met a, a lot of people in my life, and I've been the recipient of a lot of, a lot of gifts. And, and I think of one guy in particular, I pastored down in Alabama, William, he was kind of a a uh, guy that marched to the beat of a different drummer, and not everyone got really close to William, but I think he loved this old fat preacher, and I don't know how many times he would give me a gift of money or bless me with some other temporal gift because he wanted to show that he loved his preacher. And I know today that love is something that wants to give. And so, you know, God shows us his love by giving. He's given us his son, and even though we're undeserving, there's not a way in the world that we could deserve such a gift. We're unworthy. We are so sinful and, and so unworthy of God's wonderful gift. And when I think about how we are so undeserving and we're so unworthy of that gift, and, 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 and it comes even though we're so unlovable, you ever stop and think how unlovable we must be to God? in our sinful condition, as he is so righteous and so holy, but he still loves us even though we're unlovable. So I thank God for the wonderful gift that he's given to us. And now between now and, and uh, the, the time that we commemorate the crucifixion and resurrection, I want to just focus on the love of God and some of the ways that he has shown his love, his willingness to let us know how much he really loves us 
He does that by giving. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us so much. And thank you for the gift that thou hast given, undeserving, unworthy, and as unlovable as we are. Yet, Lord, thou didst give your Son that we might have life, that we might have it more abundantly. And, Lord, we pray you bless us throughout another day. Make us a blessing wherever we go. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I've enjoyed sharing with you, and I'll see you tomorrow now on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.